Hi everyone, so hope you have been well. So today I'm back again with another recipe. Today I'll be making spring onion pancakes. So right, this recipe will be able to use four pancakes, but today I'll just be showing you how to fry and prepare one pancake. All right, so let's start off with the dough. So okay, get your sieve ready, a bowl. And in it goes will be two cups of all-purpose flour. So all right, in order to make the all-purpose flour, it's always good to balance it off. So ensure that you have scoop enough and just use the knife to push it away. So use two cups of this. So okay, in goes one cup and another one. So scoop it out. So okay, in it goes. So alright, I'm done with the flour right now. Together with the flour will be a pinch of salt. So okay, when you're done with it, just sieve it. So okay, when it's done, put the sieve away. And then, I'll be adding in one cup of boiling water, or hot water will do. So okay, be sure not to add in oil at once. Just go in three quarter at first, and add in as necessary. So okay, if the water is too hot for you, to work with in the beginning, just use a fork. So okay. And knead it by hand. So okay, when it isn't mixing together again, okay, just add in a little bit of water. So go one teaspoon at a time. Don't work it too hard, just press it lightly, knead it lightly. So okay. When it's not sticky anymore, just roll it into a ball and cover it with a damp cloth for 30 minutes and set it aside. So over here, I've already washed 5 stalks of spring onion. So let's start to slice it up. So fold it into half to make it easier for you to slice and just start slicing it. Okay, when you're done with one, just do it the same for the rest of the spring onions. So okay, just set aside all the spring onions in the bowl. Okay, so when the spring onion is done, mix this the ginger and the chili. So for the ginger, I will just need one teaspoon. So okay, this will be enough. So alright, to take out the skin of the ginger, just use a spoon and scrape the outsides. So right, when the skin is out, just chuck away the skin. For the ginger, just go in to finely chop. Just do it the same for the rest of the ginger. Okay, so when it's done, Transfer it into a bowl. And next for the chili, just finely chop it. So okay, put it in a bowl as well. Right next, I'll be doing the sauce right now. For the sauce is very easy as well. The ginger and the garlic is inside. So I'll just be adding soy sauce, the spring onions and rice vinegar. So right, for the spring onions, just add in one tablespoon. So for light soy sauce, two tablespoons. And rice vinegar, two tablespoons as well. So just give it a stir together. All right, when it's done, just set it aside. So okay, the last step before you check on your dough. So right, just squeeze out approximately one quarter cup of sesame oil. Put in a pastry brush and set it aside. So okay, when you are done with the sauce, so now it's time to check on the dough after 30 minutes. So right, let's give it a lightning so it has rest well already. Okay, your chopping board. So I'm gonna be cutting it into four equal slices. 
just cut it into four equal slices. So okay, set the rest of it aside. So okay, next, take your dough, roll it into a ball. So lightly flour your box surface. Take the rolling pin as well and fly. So okay, take the dough and just roll around. So roll into a round ball. If it's not round for the first time, it's alright. You will still be rolling it there. So okay, when it's done, just take the sesame oil and lightly layer a top of sesame oil on top. So okay, when it's done, just roll up the dough as small as you can. Okay, so when it's done, just tilt the right side into it and the left side underneath. So when it's done, just press the dough lightly again. Fly your rolling pin again. And roll it up into a ball again. So okay, it will be a little sticky because of sesame oil. So if it sticks, just fly it again. So okay, when it's flattened again, this time, lightly layer one layer of sesame oil. So spread it all around. And all right, on how much green onion you want to add for each pancake, right? I'm just going to add it a lot so that you'll be present throughout the whole pancake. So okay, when it's done, same thing, roll it up. So if you add too much, you will definitely overflow. So alright, just press it stick lightly. So okay, it's still on this side as well. So flatten it. Okay, and fly your rolling pin again. So okay, it's gonna get a little sticky because of sesame oil. So roll it. So if you add in too much spring onion, it will definitely come up. So alright. So okay. So when it's done, you can do it the same for the rest of the pancakes as well. So alright, now I'm gonna fry this. So alright, get your stove. So okay, warm up. On medium to high heat, and I add in around two tablespoons of vegetable oil. So remember to get a spatula for you to flip the pancakes later on as well. So okay, when it's hot enough, just add in the pancakes and let it cook. Cook till it's golden brown on both sides. So okay, this is the color I'm looking for. So okay, right now it's done. So alright, next, after it's done, just transfer it into a chopping board. I'm gonna be cutting up into slices. Okay, if it's too hot for you, just take a knife. Just cut up into eight equal slices. So okay, after you've cut it up, just transfer it into a plate. So okay, just take a small saucer. So give the sauce a quick stir again and just add it to the side. So right, it's just so simple. So alright, this is how the end product will look like. 
Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe to see more videos from me in the future. Bye!